Hey Craft and Cuties and DIY Divas. I just wanted to make this quick video on buttons. I've been receiving some questions in a couple of groups on how to get started um, doing buttons. Uh, you know, what kind of templates, is there any type of software? If you want to get started, this is a real quick and simple way that I've found to get started without any special um, programs or anything like that because they do have design programs that are dedicated to making button templates but if you're you know you're just getting your feet wet or you want to knock out something real quick uh, this is the best way to do it you open up a new word document make sure you go to layout put your margins on 0 0.5 that just gives you a little more real estate to work with I have a three inch button press. I know they can get smaller or they can get bigger. So we're just gonna go with the three inch one that I, I normally do. We're gonna insert a shape of a circle. Go over, make the height and width three inches. Now from here, what you can do is just using a picture that you already have on your computer or something to that effect, you go to shape fill, picture, and I'm gonna grab this one. Bam, it automatically fills it up. Now, what you would what you can get from a regular page, and this is why I told you to put the margins down is you if you copy and paste you can get up to six buttons on each sheet so let's say somebody places an order they want you know something real quick um i need six right quick okay cool you can get up to six on one sheet if you put your margins down to 0 0.5 Now, let's say you wanted to add a quick little text like happy birthday or, you know, Gina's one or this, something like that. What you can do is you go back to insert, you insert a text box. I go with the first one, the simple text box. Clear those words out. Go to home. Make sure it's centered. Let's type in something quick. Alrighty. Choose the font you like. To start off, I go with the biggest size that'll uh, stretch out and not double over. All right. Before you get started, when you have your text box open, go over to Shape Format, Shape Fill of no feel as you see that tick that white background off so whenever you move these words over you won't have that white block now to give it that shape you go to text effect and transform it lets you do over the top over the bottom if you have long like a long word or uh, a lot of things you want to say you can do it in a circle but just for the purpose of this one we're gonna go with the transform uh, arc over the top. It's shaped out a little bit, but how you're gonna get that true button curve, is you're gonna go down to the bottom pull here and pull it down. Then you can go back and move it in the desired area that you want it to be. Now, just like when duplicating the buttons, you'll do the same process to duplicate the words. But before you duplicate, make sure you click on this, this part of the square. Go to Shape Format, Shape Outline, No Outline. Because if you don't, when you print, it's going to have that square there. 
So make sure you go back to the actual line, hit copy, click over your button, paste. All right, ladybugs, and that is it in a nutshell. It's real simple to do if you're, you know, just wanting to get started and uh, in making buttons, or maybe you know how to make buttons, or you just want to, you know, you're in a time crunch. Someone wanted something at the last minute. If you're anything like me, you know, my mom will show up at the last minute and say, uh, how about you make some buttons for the ceremony today? Or, you know, we're going to your niece's graduation. Uh, can you knock out some buttons right quick? It might not be the most artistic, but in a pinch, this is just fine. Any other questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down in the comments, and I'll get to you as soon as possible. Y'all have a good one.